Hello everyone, this is Kristen, and I'd like to have a conversation with you about teachers, specifically Kundalini teachers. Uh, it's becoming more and more common for people to receive instruction because of the, uh, of the internet uh, with regards to Kundalini. Uh, I'll suggest that you use a great deal of discernment in who it is you take advice from with regards to how you are uh, assimilating and approaching uh, your response to a kundalini activation or a kundalini awakening. Uh, if, if any kind of fear is being uh, suggested, uh, either in, well, don't do this because that might happen, or, or you know, all the different scenarios of, of uh, feeding fear into someone's activation or awakening process, Really take a hard look at that and maybe take a step back and say, do I, you, you might ask yourself, do you need all this fear? Do I need all this fear that, that is being uh, suggested that I, that I have? Uh, I, I, I say this because of the severe amplification properties of the Kundalini with regards to fear and, and uh, a surrendering attitude, I feel, is, is, is a more solid approach. But... You know, that's just me and, and how, I, how I approach the Kundalini. Uh, be discerning of, of uh, having to pay copious amounts of money with regard to a teacher. Be discerning with uh, having to, to uh, you know, give them your firstborn child or some other uh, series of, of payment for the teachings from them that you're receiving. Uh, uh, do a little research on a teacher and, and see how others have felt about their teachings and how applicable and, and uh, appreciative they may be uh, for that teacher and the teachings. Really do some, some research on it and, and you can kind of uh, guide yourself by the uh, a biblical saying which is, by their fruits shall you know them. So, typically a teacher will, will, will hopefully leave only good things in their path, and, and, uh, and their students will really appreciate how they've been treated and, and the, uh, the level of excellence that that knowledge and the information that has been given to them from that teacher attains within the person's Kundalini experience. Uh, but still, at the beginning, be discerning, do your research, and, and listen to your intuition. Listen to the kundalini within you. She will guide you to the most appropriate teacher for you. And I wish you and, and any of the people that you consider teachers uh, the blessings and love of the divine that is expressing through you both. Thank you. Oh.